My name is Jeff Marker. I'm the new principal here at Rittner High School. Two years ago, I was here as a teacher, and I vowed that when I left, if I had the chance to come back, I definitely would. I am thrilled to be back, and to be quite honest, I'm in the same boat as many of the kids here today. I'm a little anxious because I kind of know my way around the building, but certainly when I was here two years ago, I spent most of my time on the third floor. So I'm looking forward to learning the building, learning the staff, and meeting the kids, and spending many years leading this school into the future. Welcome to Rittner High School, future Huskies. We are so thrilled to have you as incoming ninth graders be joining us while you are still in eighth grade to learn about the great things that happen here at Rittner High School. Some of the things that we are going to talk about this evening are fabulous culture that we have here. Priorities of our culture are academics. Um, our three E's, enrolling, enlisting, and employing, will be talked about here in just a little bit. And we are very excited to be sharing all of our core academic areas as well as you having the opportunity to move through rotations and be part of learning about elective classes that we have here at Rittner High School as well. An additional piece that I wanted to talk about on the front end is attendance and how important having you as a ninth grader through your entire high school career, how important that is to have you come and have you be learning every day here in the high school. I know it's an important priority in the middle schools as well. It is equally important at the high school. In the, in the next few minutes, you will be hearing from a variety of students as well as other leaders here in the building. So again, I just want to welcome you to your first evening at Rittner High School. Probably focus on my grades more and not listen to like a lot of the gossip and worry about other people. Work harder and not try to fit in as much and just do, do myself. I would actually do my work and show up to school. As middle school, I feel like that's where the start of where your really learning basis is. And you're gonna go through the three years anyways, so it's not like you're gonna be held back until the high school comes and they don't really babysit you like they did in middle school. They really hit on you hard about what you learn in middle school. Hi, my name is Ms. Cam Schrader. I'm a college and career counselor here at Rittner High School. I wanted to give you a brief overview of our E3 program here at the high school. Students have to choose between enrolling in college, a two-year, four-year, or technical program, enlisting in the military, or being employed full-time after high school. If they choose to enroll in college, we have an extensive program here at the high school to help them with this process. We do quite a bit during our advisory sessions once a week, we also have after-school sessions on early out Thursdays, and we also have one-on-one -on -one appointments for juniors and seniors who meet with me in the College Center. The class of 2018 had a record $10.5 million in scholarships last year. 25 of those students had full financial aid packages, and many of those students earned scholarships at colleges, also through companies, through athletics, and a variety of other measures. So our students who work hard on campus, who earn A's and B's from freshman year on and attend our after school sessions, they will be in a position to also be one of our students who might be able to receive a full financial aid scholarship. So please take advantage of the programs that we offer on our campus. You're on your own. I, I really feel like you're on your own in high school and I feel like it's the next step in, to get in the real world because in middle school, you're really pretty much held hands with teachers and you're with all your friends, but when you're in high school, it's just the second step to show you that the real world's coming up. Just pay attention in school and not, don't try to be like someone you're not and don't get in the wrong crowd with people. Like you'll meet new friends. Now, that's probably the, I mean, people be like, yeah, we're going to be friends. And you go to high school, they change different, yeah, all the way different classrooms. Diff it's just different. So. Focus. And don't let y'all friends distract y'all from y'all work. 
because they're not going to walk across the stage with y'all. Hi, I'm Mrs. Noonan, and I am one of the college and career counselors here working with Miss Kay. Uh, she and I work together on the college and career aspect of the school, making sure that all students are ready for college or career. And I work a lot with students who are looking for work-based learning opportunities. Uh, we've partnered with many businesses in the area and outside of our area in different programs trying to get them to work and get them various either paid or unpaid internships. We also work with the military. So the military comes in and interviews our students. They offer programming to tell more about how college um, and military can go together and how the military can help pay for college and so we um, offer different opportunities for you to learn about those before you graduate and have to make those those decisions as high school you have to actually get the credits instead of just getting moved on like middle school so collecting credits and actually having passed the class instead of just getting moved on because you got an F or something, like that's a big difference. And it really do make an effect on your grade. A lot of more work, more actually having to be at school, more responsibility. Your teachers, they don't care if you don't do your work or not. They not gonna be on you as much as they is in middle school. Like middle school, they'll be like, make sure you do this, make sure you do that. But you only gonna get like one or two reminders to do your work in high school. If you don't do it, the grade go in and you. it's that. And yes, you fail the class and you gotta take it over. There's over. a lot more real things going on, you know. You're, there's a lot of people getting jobs, starting to drive, and that takes a lot away from, you know, paying attention in school, but that's not something you wanna do because, you know, regardless if you wanna go to college or not, you know, education is still important. So my name is Ms. Webster. I am the counseling department leader here at the high school. Um, I'm also the counselor for last names ROE through Z. So I just wanted to go over with you some information that your students received um, today at the middle schools um, because the counselors, we went to the middle schools today um, to give your students all the information they need to select courses for next school year coming up here to the high school. Um, this is a sheet that they use to write in the classes that they want to take for next year. As far as their core classes, so English, math, social studies, science, um, their core teacher at the middle schools, they will recommend the students um, for those classes for next year, so students don't have to write those in. But on the course request sheet, the blank boxes and then the alternative boxes, that's where the students, they'll write in the classes that they want to take as far as any electives or fine arts, um, practical arts, required courses, basically anything they want to take. So that's where they have some choice. So on that course request sheet, like I said, they'll be filling in the blank boxes. And their middle school teachers and middle school counselors will be helping them out with that as well. But I just wanted to make sure that you know about that. Um, and then on the back of that course request sheet, it actually has the credit wheel. So the credit wheel gives you a breakdown of the classes that are required to graduate from Rittner High School. So overall, you need 24 credits to graduate from Rittner High School. Um, and then it's broken down into the different categories. But the way we tell the kids, just to make it simple, hey, we'll make sure you have the classes you need for graduation. Just make sure you're doing well, you're here every day, and being a rock star in those classes, and then what you need as far as credits, that will all work out as long as you're being a rock star in your classes. Um, another thing they got today, they also got a course offering sheet. So this is just a sheet of the courses that they can potentially take at the high school. Um, on that sheet, there is a star by classes that require a prerequisite. So that means there's something they have to do before they can take that class. Um, we discuss like classes that are only semester classes or classes that are year-long classes as well. Um, it tells them on that sheet. So it's just a sheet of all the course offerings that they can take as an incoming ninth grader here at Rittner High School. And then they also have access to the course handbook. So the course handbook is the big book of all of the classes that are offered at Rittner. It gives the prerequisites, it gives a description of all the classes as well. So if they want to know a little more in depth as far as what a particular class is, they can look in the course handbook for that information. So all the information is also available online on the Rittner High School website under the Academics tab. Come see us, let us know if you have any questions. Um, and look forward to having your student next year. 
fun things about high school is that you get so much more freedom than you get to have in middle school. You get to hang out with your friends more, you get to go more places, and you have so much more freedom, and it just is like, you get to be an adult for once, compared to middle school. Just know that there are some things that may stress you out, but it's gonna be okay. The good thing about high school is, you meet a lot of new people, you get to travel around more. It's less uh, just being in the same classes, the same people you see all day. It's very fun. You get to interact with upperclassmen, go to a lot of more games. It's a lot more responsibility and everything, so you feel kind of grown.